Okay, so now we will see another cool way to make a wireframe of our platform. I will go to Claude. Claude is, whoever don't know for some reason, Claude is kind of like another uh, chat GPT model, but it's uh, it's made of like uh, OpenAI programmers that left OpenAI and made a new uh, company called Anatrophic. So what's good in Claude that you have an artifacts uh, window and uh, I will show you now exactly what I mean. So let's go back to our platform and we'll go to the overview and we are going to copy it, okay? And we will pass to Claude, it will make like this kind of block. Then again, um, we will go to the UX UI. And we copy it and passed. And you actually can you can actually do it with everything, like also with the structure. I think it will be smart enough. And let's actually even do it. No, that's enough. Okay. So now I'm going to write to him. Make for me interactive prototype. for this platform. Uh, make sure you take care of all the UX UI guidelines and the simulations of the different backend tabs. Okay, something like that. You can play with it and make sure you are on the smartest model Sonnet, okay? It's really important. Let's send it to him. It's a lot of information. They just have it like more smart system that you can just pass like that. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. And this is what's so cool in Claude that you're actually going to see some kind of artifacts window. It's really, really cool. And very, very soon you will see that we actually have a system to play with, okay? It's kind of crazy. Lovable is based on Cloud and Coso AI, so it makes sense, okay? Uh, Lovable actually doing what Cloud doing now. Same thing, because it's all based on Cloud. So let's wait until we finish. And as you can see, <laughs> we have dark mode, light mode, we have history, we have settings, we have name, email, subscriptions, how many videos proce uh, processed this month. Uh, we have here the name of the user, and let's try to upload. Now we're simulating like I uploaded a file, okay? Uh, and here is the generated uh, metadata. Okay, that's really, really crazy. For me, that's enough. He even made like kind of like a logo. For me, it's completely enough. I like it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that he didn't give me fields to put uh, in the beginning when I dropped the video inside. So first, let's make sure we actually have it here. Yeah, so good. He forgot to use it for some reason. So let's write him down. I don't see we have user inputs fields before we generate a video. Also, please make sure there is also SRT subtitles download option, simulation, because he also didn't do that, okay? And I passed in the metadata input fields. Let's pass that. And now the cool thing about Claude that is going to do fixes to our platform. And by the way, you don't need to pay Claude to do all of that. He will just limit you with the amount of prompts you can do. But basically I only send two prompts and I already have a prototype which I can uh, capture images from. I can even... Uh, when it will finish, I will show you, I can actually preview the website and see it in my browser. And I can already show it to investors and so on. I don't need to actually develop it yet before I show people how it's going to work. So great, now that it did it, let's write my name. Video topic is lovable.dev. Language preference, he did some, we might will need more. Relevant keywords, AI, programming, whatever. Let's drop the video. And those stuff just going to help us making the metadata, okay? It's that much simple. And uh, wow, I really like how we did it. <laughs> Honestly, I really, really love it. You can download the SRT. You can uh, copy and paste 
the YouTube descriptions, the Instagram descriptions, and so on. So let's add some more to our prototype. And um, I want to have copy buttons next to all the titles and descriptions that are generated. Also make sure we users can download in one button a text file that contain all the metadata of all the platforms. Okay, so I'm just keep polishing my prototype. It's going to actually help me a lot in lovable.dev. Okay, and it finished making the new prototype. So let's try it again. I will just write something. Drop the video and let's see if he will add it what I uh, requested him. Yeah, great. So now I have copy buttons for all of them. Actually, I really love it. Um, I really, really, really love it. I'm going to actually try something cool. I'm going to send in Claude our chain of prompts and I will tell him, hey, polish our chain of prompts based on the prototype you made, okay? So let's go back to ChatGPT. I will copy this whole conversation. I will go back to Claude and I will tell him, polish, edit and adjust our prompt plan for lovable so dev based on the prototype you just made and I will pass it. So that's one thing. Okay, so another thing I want to do is actually uh, take screenshots of the window I just made. And what we're going to do is going to do UX UI. And I'm going to put all the pictures here. Okay, what's cool about Notion, you can actually put pictures and so on, and it's really, really comfortable. So let's keep doing it. Um, I will hit your drop your video. Screenshot this. Mm-hmm. I see the prototype stopped working. Ah, I think because we didn't wrote here anything. Yeah, now it will work. Let's upload video. Yeah, and we can also copy that. It will help us a lot in lovable.dev. Um, let's get back to the UX UI. Great. Um, and what you can see here that he actually made for us a chain of prompts that uh, fit more to the prototype. So let's copy that. We'll go back to Notion. We can actually make a new page called lovable.dev prompts plan. Past it. And you will see it here. Let's move it here. And now it's going to we're going to use it with Lovable, okay? So that was like a way to make a quick prototype, see everything makes sense, and also get like idea how this thing going to work uh, in your platform, okay, in uh, Lovable. Uh, so it's a great way to check before you actually start developing. Let's meet in the next video and we'll start to work with Lovable itself.